This is uh, the smartest AI in the world, and we're going to show you exactly how and why. It really is remarkable to see the advancement of artificial intelligence, how quickly it is uh, evolving. Elon Musk's new Grok 4 has flipped the AI world on its head. Faster reasoning, sharper memory, and a level of creativity that's leaving other chatbots scrambling to keep up. Since launch, it's been powering wild discoveries across science, business, and everyday life. And if Grok 4 is this powerful, imagine what Grok 5 could unleash. Before we dive into what Grok 4 is capable of, have a look at what Elon has to say about intelligence and how they are defining it with AI. In terms of the training, um, we're going from Grok 2 to Grok 3 uh, to Grok 4. We've essentially increased the training by an order of magnitude in each case. So it's a uh, you know, 100 times more training than, than Grok 2, and, uh, and that, that's only going to increase. Yeah, frankly, I mean, I don't know, in some ways a little terrifying, but the, the growth of intelligence here is, is remarkable. It's important to realize there are two types of training compute. One is the pre-training compute, that's from Grok 2 to Grok 3, um, but for, from Grok 3 to Grok 4, we're actually putting a lot of compute in reasoning in RL. Grok 4 isn't chasing test scores anymore, it's redefining what intelligence means. In Elon Musk's launch, one phrase stood out, reality will be the next benchmark. The model's performance on existing benchmarks already tells a stunning story. On humanity's last exam, a grueling 2,500 question test built by top domain experts, Grok 4 achieved 40% accuracy with tool use while Grok 4 heavy pushed to 50%. Just months ago, large language models were barely scraping single digits on this same test, even Google's Gemini 2.5 Pro Trails behind. Then comes the true flex, traditional benchmarks like GPQA and AMI. GPQA challenges PhD-level science reasoning, while AMI tests advanced math. Grok 4. Heavy didn't just outperform, it maxed out with a flawless 100% on AMI. That means a problem set one once thought unsolvable by machines has officially been conquered. This leaves one clear conclusion. Standardized tests can no longer capture Grok's capability. The bar has been cleared so fast that researchers now need a new way to measure progress. That's where reality steps in. The next phase of AI evolution will depend on how well a model can operate in the real world, executing actions, adapting to feedback, and producing results beyond theory. From here, success won't be about passing exams. It'll be about applying intelligence in live environments, writing functional code, analyzing market data, managing robots, or even autonomously solving global scale problems. With Grok 4, the era of test smart AI is ending. The next frontier belongs to systems that can perform, adapt, and thrive in reality itself. Have a look at how the team achieved this powerful AI. We can actually push the pre-training quite a lot by amount of 10x to make the model the best pre-trained based model. And that's why we built Colossus, the world's supercomputer with 100,000 H100. And then with the best pre-trained model, and we realized if you can collect these verifiable outcome reward, you can actually train this model to start thinking from the first principle, start to reason, correct its own mistakes. And that's where the graph three reasoning comes from. And today we ask the question, what happens if you take the expansion of the Colossus with all 200,000 GPUs, put all these into RL, 10X more compute than any of the models out there on reinforcement learning, unprecedented scale, what's gonna happen? So this is the story of uh, Grok4, and uh, you know, Tony, uh, share some uh, uh, in insight with the audience. Yeah, let's just talk about how smart Grok4 is. <laughs> so I guess uh, we can start discussing this benchmark called Humanities Last Exam, and this, this benchmark is a very, very challenging benchmark. Every single problem is curated by subject matter experts. It's in total 2,500 problems, and it consists of many different subjects, mathematics, natural sciences, engineering, and also all the humanity subjects. So um, essentially, when, when it was first released, actually like earlier this year, uh, most of the models out there can only get single digit accuracy on this benchmark. Less than a year ago, Grok 2 didn't even exist. In that short span, Musk's team achieved what most labs would call impossible, scaling from a prototype to a model that rivals human level reasoning. The leap began when engineers refined data ablation, infrastructure, and algorithmic efficiency to push pre-training performance by tenfold. That breakthrough laid the groundwork for Grok's first massive success, 
To handle this scale, XAI built Colossus, a supercomputer powered by over 100,000 H100 GPUs. Colossus became the backbone of Grok's intelligence, enabling unprecedented computational throughput and data processing. With this power, the team created the most refined pre-trained model on the planet designed to learn, correct, and reason from first principles rather than memorize data. Then came the bold experiment, expanding Colossus to 200,000 GPUs and applying reinforcement learning, RL, at a level never attempted before. RL training is where AI learns by interacting with tasks, receiving verifiable outcomes as feedback, and refining itself. Musk's team increased the computer budget by another tenfold, giving Grok four more training depth than any competitor in history. The result? A model that doesn't merely respond, it thinks. Grok 4 can recognize its own mistake, adapt logic in real time, and derive reasoning pathways closer to human cognition. This scale-up turned raw computation into a emergent intelligence, bridging the gap between language prediction and true problem-solving ability. From no Grok 2 to a world-changing Grok 4, in under 12 months, Musk's AI timeline redefines what rapid innovation looks like. The pace alone signals a new age in artificial intelligence, one where evolution happens in months, not years. Watch this. It's much harder than, than what any, any human can do. It's, it's incredibly difficult. And you can see from the, the types of questions, like you might be incredible in linguistics or mathematics or chemistry or physics or any one of a number of subjects, but you're not going to be at a postgrad level in everything. And Grok 4 is a postgrad level in everything. Like it's, it's just, some of these things are just worth repeating. Like Grok 4 is postgraduate, like PhD level in everything. Better than PhD, but like most PhDs would fail. With respect to academic questions, Grok 4 is better than PhD level in every subject, no exceptions. Now this doesn't mean that, you know, at times it may lack common sense and it has not yet invented new technologies or discovered new physics, but that is just a matter of time. The scope of Grok 4's intelligence is staggering. During the launch, Musk emphasized that the benchmark questions Grok faced were PhD level or beyond, covering advanced mathematics, linguistics, chemistry, engineering, and physics. These aren't exam-style questions. They're problems that demand deep conceptual understanding and research-grade reasoning. Even the brightest human experts would barely manage a 5% score on this test. Grok 4 surpassed that by an astronaut astronomical margin. What makes this achievement remarkable is the model's breadth of mastery. While a human might specialize in one discipline, Grok 4 handles every subject with postgraduate precision. It performs like an entire university faculty packed into one AI, solving complex problems in theoretical physics one moment, then switching to advanced linguistics the next. Musk described it as PhD level in everything, a phrase that captures the model's unprecedented range. More importantly, Grok 4 isn't limited to repeating known information. It reasons, cross-analyzes, and builds logical chains that rival human problem-solving. Musk predicts that within the next year, Grok could begin uncovering new technologies and possibly new physics through autonomous research. This projection hints at a future where AI contributes to scientific breakthroughs rather than merely summarizing them. In essence, Grok 4 has crossed the academic ceiling. It no longer needs to learn from human experts. It's reaching the point where it can work along Alongside them, even surpass them in certain areas. The next phase won't be about answering existing questions. It'll be about generating knowledge humanity hasn't discovered yet. How does Grok 4 learn? Let's hear from the team. So I guess we can talk about the, the, what's behind the scene of Grok 4. As Jimmy mentioned, we actually saw in a lot of compute into this training. You know, when it started, it's only a, a single digit uh, number. But as you start putting in more and more training compute, it started to gradually become smarter and smarter and eventually solved a quarter of the HLE problem. And this is without any tools. The next thing we did was to adding a tools capabilities to the model. And unlike Groth3, Groth3 actually is able to use Crow as well, but here we actually make it more native in the sense that we put the tools into training. Groth3 was only relying on generalization. Here, we actually put the tools into training. And it turns out this significantly improves the model's capability of using those tools. Behind Grok, 4's brilliance lies an unprecedented fusion of data, compute power, and tool-native reasoning. Early versions of the model performed at single-digit accuracy, but as XAI scaled training computers, Grok began showing exponential growth in intelligence. The team didn't rely on more data alone. They redesigned 
find how the model interacts with its environment. Instead of training Grok to generalize tool usage as earlier systems like Grok 3 did, the engineers embedded tools directly into the training process. This means Grok 4 doesn't merely know that tools exist, it has learned to use them as part of its own cognition. Whether it's running calculations, searching for data, or simulating outcomes, the AI integrates external tools seamlessly within its reasoning loop. This shift dramatically boosted performance. During testing, Grok 4 managed to solve a quarter of humanity's last exam questions without tools, an achievement unmatched by earlier models. Once tool-native capabilities were introduced, its reasoning power soared. The model could now access and apply specialized utilities the same way a human scientist might use a calculator, lab equipment, or programming environment. However, Musk noted that Grok's tool usage remains early stage compared to advanced systems at Tesla or SpaceX, where tools run finite element analysis, computational fluid dynamics, and high-precision simulations. The implication is clear. Once that level of engineering-grade integration reaches Grok, we'll see a system capable of designing, testing, and improving technology autonomously. Grok 4 isn't merely trained to understand the world. It's learning how to build within it. This is where AI transitions from solving theoretical problems to engineering real solutions. Grok 4 is redefining human progress. See this. You need compute plus, plus uh, the right tools mm -hmm. and, um, and then ultimately to be able to interact with the physical world. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, we'll effectively have an economy that is, well, ultimately an, an economy that is thousands of times bigger than our current economy or maybe millions of times. I mean, if you, if you look, think of civilization as percentage completion of the Kardashev scale, where Kardashev 1 is using all the energy output of a planet, and Kardashev 2 is using all the energy output of a sun, and 3 is all the energy output of a galaxy. We're only, in my opinion, probably like or close, closer to 1% of Kardashev 1 than we are to 10%. So like maybe a point or 1, 1 or 2% of Kardashev 1. So we, we will get to most of the way, like 80-90% Kardashev 1, and then hopefully, if civilization doesn't uh, self-annihilate, and then Kardashev 2, like it's the, the actual notion of, of a human economy, assuming civilization continues to progress, will seem very quaint in, in retrospect. Elon Musk's vision for Grok 4 extends far beyond digital intelligence. It reaches into the fabric of civilization itself. As these models begin to interact with the physical world, Musk predicts an economic transformation unlike anything in history. He describes a future where AI-driven productivity could expand the global economy by thousands or even millions of times, pushing humanity closer to a Type 1 civilization on the Kardashev scale, a level where we harness all the energy output of our planet. Right now, humanity operates at barely 1% of that potential. Musk envisions AI as the accelerant that propels civilization toward 80 to 90% of Type 1 within decades. Once intelligent systems like Grok 4 gain the ability to design, manufacture, and optimize in real-world environments, economic growth will no longer depend on human labor or traditional production cycles. Every discovery, every innovation will scale instantly across industries. In Musk's words, our current economy will one day look caveman-like primitive compared to the automated ecosystems that future AI will sustain. A single Grok instance connected to robotic energy networks and global data systems could coordinate production, solve engineering challenges, and expand infrastructure autonomously. Still, Musk acknowledges the magnitude of the technical hurdles ahead. Beyond compute power, the greatest limitation now lies in data bottlenecks, finding and creating the right reinforcement learning challenges for Grok to master. Overcoming that will unlock the next leap real-world AI capable of action, innovation, and self-improvement. This isn't speculation, it's the trajectory of civilization's next phase. As Grok 4 moves from reasoning about the world to building within it, the boundary between digital intelligence and physical progress grows thinner by the day. Grok 4 marks the dawn of a new era, one where intelligence becomes humanity's greatest multiplier. From solving PhD-level problems to laying the groundwork for a planetary-scale economy, it's redefining what progress means. The age of passive AI is over. What comes next? Grok 5. Won't just think faster, it will build the future. Humanity has sparked something unstoppable, and there's no turning back now. If you enjoyed this story, we've selected two more videos we think you'll find fascinating. Check out our recommended picks on the left and right of your screen now.